A local primary school principal is planning to study abroad after winning a national scholarship. Andy Larson of Fairfield Primary School is one of three principals to win a Wolf Fisher Fellowship this year and he joins us to talk about his plans. Good evening. Yeah, hi Rebecca. And congratulations. Yeah. What is the Wolf Fisher Fellowship? Well, the Wolf Fisher Fellowship is a grant that's given to principals to enable them to be able to travel around the, uh, around the world and, and pick up a topic of their own interest that they wish to develop further. And uh, with doing that, come back and be able to to do something for their you know, fellow principals or improve the school that they're working in and you know, be a better person because of it. And how will you use it? Uh, I'm travelling overseas obviously with it, um, taking my wife which is really, really neat because uh, part of the fellowship is they ask if you want to go on your own or you wish to be able to go with your wife or a partner to go with them and of course she very quickly said that she'll go <laughs> and then um, it was a matter of us organising where we want to go and why. You get to pick where you go. Definitely, they uh, they mentioned to us that they want us to go to America, they want us to go around the UK, and to be able to venture into Europe uh, within reason. Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea, doesn't it? Oh no, I, I didn't really enjoy <laughs> it at all. When do you plan to be away? Uh, we hope to head away in April, and that's what we're in the midst of planning right at this moment. Uh, and April, uh, go up to Canada uh, and have a look at the system in Canada then go across to uh, the UK and have a look at the UK. Uh, then we're going to touch on Europe uh, before we end up going back to Canada and then having to go to Boston, which is, Boston is a part of a compulsory part of the whole course where you're asked to go to Harvard and, uh, and study in there for uh, uh, nine days, I think it is. Oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. Have you picked a topic? Uh, I'm heading over there looking at mentoring. And that's the topic that I'm going to be looking at, uh, trying to improve my own way that I deal with uh, other fellow principals uh, in, in the mentoring field because mm. it's support for principals that you know I'm really looking for and looking to see what they do do overseas and what, how they improve things mm. for their fellow principals. What are you currently doing to help local principals? Um, I'm a mentor here in uh, Dunedin and uh, I have to work with, uh, you, you normally got up to four principals at a time and with doing that, you go and see them and their job, what they're doing, what they need help with, uh, help to set their goals and settle them into the routines and what's involved in being a principal. Mm. What are some of the challenges in that role? Uh, the challenges that come with that role are many and varied. Mm. Uh, the biggest one is the fact being you've got so many personalities to have to work with and deal with. Mm. Um, so everybody's got their expectation and what they want from the school. And, uh, and so you're trying to meet those needs plus you know, perform the duties that you've, you've been entrusted with. Who's going to look after the school while you're away? Um, I'm very fortunate in there. I've got a, uh, a, my DP, uh, Greg Lees. He's at the school, very capable, up and coming young man who's going to do very well in the future. Mm. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to experiencing or learning? Oh, I think going to Harvard is going to be mm. a real experience that I never thought that I'd ever see in my lifetime. And I'm really looking forward to going there and, and being, you know, doing the work that's involved there. Mm. Do our schools differ much from those in Canada and the UK? I'll tell you when I get back. <laughs> at the moment, I'm not too sure. Uh, I've been through the States and the schools definitely differ there in the expectations and the way children are. But all children come to school wanting to learn. And so it's a matter of, you know, being involved with those children and making sure that they get the best out of what they can do. Well, congratulations once again on the win. Andy Larson from Fairfield Primary School, thank yeah. you very much for your time. Thank you, Rebecca.